Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. NHTSA proposes automatic emergency braking mandate for new vehicles. Tesla Model S Plaid track pack out of stock hours after announcement. Tesla and Panasonic to receive about $1.8 billion in U.S. tax credits in 2023. And Tesla inventory is going down as discounts, tax credits, and referrals seem to work. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA, has proposed new safety standards that would require automatic emergency braking AEB, and pedestrian AEB systems on all new vehicles, regardless of powertrain. Such features have been standard in vehicles like Tesla's, and they have contributed to the stellar safety ratings of cars like the Model 3 and Model Y. AEB systems use various sensor technologies and subsystems to detect objects in front of the vehicle and automatically apply the brakes if the driver does not react in time. Pedestrian AEB systems can detect pedestrians and automatically apply the brakes as needed. The implementation of AEB in vehicles has undoubtedly saved countless lives over the years. The NHTSA estimates that the proposed new standards could save about 360 lives and prevent 24,000 injuries each year. If successfully passed, automakers would have three years to comply with the NHTSA's mandate, which should be enough time to roll out the safety feature to new vehicles. As per the NHTSA, its mandate would also require all cars to be able to stop and avoid contact with a vehicle in front of them, up to 62 miles per hour. With this in mind, Tesla's vehicles would likely remain a cut above the standard when it comes to safety. A recent Tesla update, after all, has raised the automatic braking engagement speed up to 124 miles per hour. The feature also now works in reverse. And considering Tesla's tendency to continue improving its vehicles, it would not be surprising if the company improves its AEB systems even further in the future. Moving to the next update, Tesla Model S Plaid track pack out of stock, hours after announcement. The Tesla Model S Plaid track pack is officially out of stock, just hours after its release. The long-awaited upgrade, promised to significantly improve the physical Model S Plaid vehicle and its software. Designed for the ultimate track experience, the Model S Plaid track package delivers high-speed stability, maximum cornering force, and repeatable stopping power during high-performance driving, while unlocking a top speed of 200 miles per hour, Tesla described its track package. The Model S Plaid track package features aluminum forged wheels, track-ready tires with brake fluid, new carbon silicon carbide rotors, and one-piece forged calipers with high-performance pads. The package includes a carbon ceramic brake kit and wheel and tire components. The carbon ceramic brake kit can be purchased separately through Tesla's drop-down menu. Tesla's Model S track pack costs between $15,000 to $20,000. Our rotors feature continuous fiber technology and are constructed in a unique 3D matrix to add strength and manage heat more effectively. For additional durability, a ceramic friction layer covers the entire rotor surface to reduce brake dust, corrosion, and wear, while also improving pedal feel for daily driving," added Tesla. On May 6, 2023, a Tesla Model S Plaid fitted with the track pack hit 200 miles per hour. The momentous occasion was topped over the weekend with a Model S Plaid with track pack set a new lap record for a production EV at the Nürburgring with a time of 725-231. Moving to the next update, Tesla and Panasonic to receive about $1.8 billion in US tax credits in 2023. Tesla and Panasonic will receive about $1.8 billion in tax credits in the US in 2023, a forecast shows. The companies will be the biggest winners of the Inflation Reduction Act. Tesla and its battery partner Panasonic will receive about $1.8 billion in tax credits this year under the Inflation Reduction Act, according to Benchmark Mineral Intelligence. General Motors and LG Energy Solution may qualify for $480 million in tax credits. 
At the same time, the report shows that Ford would not start receiving any benefits from statutory battery credits until 2025, according to BNN Bloomberg. The act gives big incentives to battery suppliers and automakers that manufacture in the U.S. The more batteries and electric vehicles a company makes in the U.S., the more money it makes in tax credits. Tesla is a huge winner here, as the company makes some of the most American-made cars in the U.S., powering many of them with batteries that are also made in the U.S. at Giga Nevada. Tesla said it expects to use the money from the tax credit to further lower prices for consumers as part of a strategy to sacrifice short-term profits to increase sales amid inflation and increased competition. Such a policy forces automakers to also reduce the prices of their cars, which causes additional financial difficulties for them. While Giga Nevada is already a huge benefit to Tesla, the company is also continuing to ramp up its efforts to localize the supply chain for battery manufacturing. Its new lithium refinery in Corpus Christi recently had a groundbreaking ceremony. Meanwhile, legacy automakers waking up from years of dormancy are just beginning to make efforts in this area, so they would not be able to get benefits from the IRA as quickly as Tesla. Moving to the last update, Tesla inventory is going down, as discounts, tax credits, and referrals seem to work. Tesla's new inventory vehicles are going down, following a high earlier this year, as recent discounts, new tax credits, and referrals appear to be working. High interest rates and inflation have made the auto market have reduced a pool of new car buyers and made the auto market more competitive. To compete, Tesla has slashed prices on new orders throughout the year. More recently, the automaker stopped reducing prices on new orders, but it offered extra discounts on new inventory vehicles and launched a new referral program last month. In April, Tesla hit a new record high in new inventory vehicles in the US. Since then, Tesla offered an extra discount on some new inventory vehicles and increased the referral awards. The incentives to buy appear to be working, as new inventory data tracked by Matt Young shows that Tesla's new inventory vehicles in the US have come down from the highs. That's a nearly 20% drop in just a few weeks. Furthermore, Tesla's inventory is generally going up in the US around this time of the quarter, as US production moves to produce vehicles for the local market. During the recent high in inventory, Model X was surprisingly the problem, but inventory of the luxury SUV has gone down significantly. Model S and Model Y inventory have remained stable, which is particularly surprising for the Model Y, considering the impressive production capacity that Tesla has for the electric SUV in the US. It appears that Model 3 is now the problem, which would explain why Tesla has increased the discount on new Model 3 inventory. We would expect that Model 3 won't be a problem for long with the news that now even the base version is getting the full $7,500 tax credit. It is making the car ridiculously cheap and likely a good enough deal to make people forget that the new version is coming soon. It seems like the discount and referral program are working well. So if you are thinking of buying a Tesla, buy it now, it's the best time to buy. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.